everyone, welcome back to another video. Just a quick video. I found a solution for mounting UAP AC lights and U6 lights to single gang low voltage boxes very easily. So if you're interested, I want you to stick around for this video. But before we get started with that, you may notice the backdrop on my studio looks a little different. That's because we're doing double duty here in the studio. We're using it for my own YouTube channel, but we are also getting ready to launch a sports podcast. Now I'm not in the podcast, but I am producing it behind the scenes. So that's what you're seeing back there. I just have a blue tarp over the actual backdrop that we're using for that set. So apologies. I know it's not pretty looking, but I, you know, hopefully you guys are here more for the content. So that being said, I just want to switch over to the other camera and I'm going to share with you this little brilliant gadget. So to get started, Looking at a single gang low voltage box, now this is the nailer type, they come in all different uh, varieties, but you'll know if you have any experience with mounting UAP AC lights or U6 lights that trying to get this bracket attached to a single gang box is a bit of a challenge because the first hole might line up, but then what do you do from that point on? There's no way to physically get this to mount securely. So was thinking about printing my own 3D little mounting bracket, but then I thought, I'm sure somebody came up with something, and I found this little guy on Etsy. And whoever came up with this was genius because it just makes life so much easier. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take you through the process. So we're going to attach this little bracket to this UAP AC light mounting bracket. Obviously, you want to make sure it's straight and then just give it a tighten. Just like that. So there you go. You have the little 3D printed bracket attached now to the UAP AC light or the U6 light mounting bracket. So what we do next is we just take it. And we are going to attach it to the single gang low voltage box using the holes on that single gang box. And I'll show you how easy it is and how secure the UAP AC light sits on this box. And it covers everything. So you don't have to worry about any of the single gang opening showing once the access point is mounted unless the sheet rockers or the drywallers were sloppy about cutting the box out. Then you have a little spackling and painting to do, but most of the time they're, they're really pretty on target. Okay. So now that we got that on and we have the screws tightened there, you can see the bracket is securely attached. Like it's not going anywhere. Then you simply, you know the deal here, if you have experience with installing these brackets, you just simply take it, snap it into place. There's your finished product. Attached securely to the one gang box. Now, what I didn't show you, let me grab my handy dandy release tool. is there's plenty of space at the bottom here on both sides to pass the ethernet cable through so that it attaches securely into the access point. So again, securely mounted, get your access point, put it on, boom, you're good to go nice, clean, finished product. So in any event, I just wanted to share this with you. I will put the link to these little brackets down in the video description. They come in boxes of five, and I believe they're either $12.99 or $14.95 for a package of five. Honestly, I think it's well worth it. It makes life so much easier. So 
Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I list here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you guys as I do in every video for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they really do help out the channel. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.